tutorial number 27 let's start making a sketch let's make a rectangle and exit sketch and let's make it about as we learned in the previous tutorial so now we have an extruded rectangle so let's create a sketch on this surface as we knew that we can make sketches on flat surfaces not only on these three original surfaces here or planes so let's choose this surface next sketch now you are sketching on that surface so we said before that we are going to use the 3d geometry feature later when we have some 3d models and this time we're going to use the project 3d element so now we can select which edges we want to project and it is a good tool that it saves a lot of time for example if you have complicated profiles or edges it needs some time to create the same profile but by using this feature you just with one click create that sketch on this plane so now we have a sketch the same dimension like the rectangle behind as you remember in the inventor tutorials inventor automatically projecting the edges if you are making a sketch on any flat surface but here you need to use the project the edges so now let's exit and let's extrude the created sketch this is sketch number two which has the same it is not seen here if you make here hide so we have this projected sketch so let's show again the pad as we learned before how to show and hide and let's this time choose the drafted fillet pad and choose the sketch here you are you can specify the thickness of your extrusion for the limit we need the surface and you can choose the degrees of drafting and if you want to make fillet around the edges make preview you can notice now uh, we drafted the whole part with these dimensions if you want to edit it you can make the double click on it here you can change the draft angle preview um, okay if you want to change the fillet of the edges you can okay and here you have the <coughs> the upper fillet you can make it 20 preview okay so <coughs> this is how to use the drafted fillet pad in the next tutorial we are going to use the multi pad so see you in the next tutorial